All right, baby, we're live. How's it going, everybody? This is Jose Trujillo. I am the world's greatest living artist. Yeah, baby. Good morning to all of you out there. All you hustlers out there. Are you hardworking people? Are you people that don't want to settle? Man, I don't even know who's out there. Who's out there anyways? <laughs> Is anybody out there? <laughs> Wilson! <coughs> Good morning, baby. Rise and shine. Nothing happens without action. Nothing. Even if you're taking the wrong action. The wrong action. If you just take action, maybe you're going to be in a better, much, much better place. Uh, we are really... Uh, well, the result of our, of our thoughts, definitely, we're the result of our thoughts... Uh, but we're also the result of our actions. <laughs> they go together. The result of our thoughts and the result of our actions. They they go hand in hand. <laughs> what are you thinking about? Do you think that you can't... You can't be an artist. Do you think that you can't be a full-time artist? You can't work as an artist. Be careful whatever you're thinking about because you are... You're brainwashing yourself regardless of what you feel. Your mind doesn't distinguish, you know. Your mind doesn't distinguish whether something is good or bad for you. I, I remember... I remember listening to this uh, audio a little audio book that said that our minds are like are like uh, farmland right they're like farmland it doesn't matter what you put in you know it doesn't matter what you put in that's what you're going to reap right what you sow you reap In the same way our, our, our mind works. If you keep telling yourself bullshit like I can't do it, it's too hard, the economy is not helping, people don't 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 care about my prices, people don't care about my work, and on and on and on and on. If you tell yourself this kind of bullshit, you will continue to see more of that. But if you tell yourself you know what? I. It, it just tell you. Just if you can just tell yourself. You start telling yourself, man. I I do so well. I'm a wealthy artist, or or I'm a I'm a I'm a great painter. I'm one of the greatest. I'm the world's greatest living artist, for that matter. You know, if you start telling yourself these things, whether you believe in them or not, that's not that's not that's not what matters. What matters is that you start flushing. It, it, it acts as, as, a, as an agent to flush out all the gunk and all the crap that is being programmed in our minds. So if you just start telling yourself, I'm going to do my best today. I'm going to work so hard and I'm going to honor my, my collectors and I'm going to honor my work and I'm going to... I'm going to practice, you know, my, my painting skills or whatever, whatever, whatever you are, wherever you are. Some people are trying to learn how to paint. Other people are, are, um, trying to sell their work. They're trying to make a living. Uh, whatever, wherever, wherever place you are, tell yourself positive things, man. I, I, this is, I'm such a proponent of this. I used to, I used to not be. Wally says, so it is better to take action and claim our inner thoughts. Yeah, I mean, you're already believing in something. You know, some people say have faith, believe in this or believe in that. I I, I wouldn't say that. 
Look, you're already believing in something. You're either believing that you can do it or you're believing that you can't. So it's not a matter of, of whether you believe in something. It's what are you believing in? Because you have no choice on belief. You're already believing in something. You have no choice on belief. Be- belief is... is there, there really is no choice on belief. So if you're already believing in something and you don't want to believe in that, if you're already believing that the market is too difficult, we can't really sell our artwork or on and on or whatever, if that is what you're believing... You have no choice on that. You're already believing that. What you do have choice is removing the gunk, right? So that you can, you will always believe in something. It's just that whatever is in there is what you're going to believe in. So, so replace what's in there. Replace what's in there. That's that's uh, that's the job. Replace what's in there, and take action. Any action, by God, I mean, just any action. This is, this is where, where most of us go wrong. 99% of us go wrong. We don't take enough action. We don't take enough action. Own your thoughts. Take action. How do you own your thoughts? Fake it till you make it, baby. Start, start, start writing down all the things that you want your life to be like. Don't write it down once. Write it down twice, three, three, two, three times a day. Don't don't write them down and then put it away. Write it down and carry it with you in your wallet. Read it. Read it two, three times a day. Write it every day. Don't just write it once. I write my goals two times a day, two times. When I feel like shit, I'll write them down three or four times a day. I'll write them. I'll sit and I'll and I'll carve out two little minutes. It doesn't take that much. A couple of minutes. And write down my goals all over again. Why? Because it's my compass, right? It's my compass. It's where I'm going. It's my compass. Where am I going? What What is it that I want out of this thing called life? And then, and then what I do, what I add to it, I back it up with action. But see, most most of us are afraid of action because because we've been conditioned to think that that. Action is the bad thing. It's 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 not it's not right. We've been conditioned to believe that someone who takes a lot of action is really killing themselves. They're working too hard. I have people tell me you're overworking your paintings. They're overworked. I'm like, so I I, I don't get it. I, I I'm I'm confused. You know? Do I do I listen to you? Or do I listen to the seven years I've been making a full-time living as an artist? Like, I'm confused. I'm confused. P- people have this thing that, that, that they, they, they shame each other, you know. I, I remember telling someone that I was working on this on this art piece. And, and, uh, and it was a very uh, elaborate piece. It, 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 it required different... different uh, themes playing together. Right? It was a theme that required different subjects playing together. And it was a large piece. And, and the, his first response was, oh, you're killing yourself. That's what he told me. Oh, you're killing yourself with this painting, man. I, saw, I, I, I know an artist who did half of this work and got paid ten times more. And, and, see, and, and we do this to each other. And I'm like, how am I, how am I killing myself if, if that's the way the work is supposed to be? Like that's that's my skill. How is that killing myself? Even if it takes me a year to make, how is that killing? Me? You know, whatever it takes you, whatever whatever your work is. It's strange. Exactly what you're talking about has been going through my mind. Compromise my mind and heart that I will create art regardless of my financial or physical state. I love that. Appreciate your words of advice and encouragement. Oh, thank you so much, Wally. I'm so glad that I can assist in any way in this little in this little uh, videos, this little this lives. I I think they're so cool that that you know we can we're able to open the door and 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 and, and talk to each other, right? Talk. I mean, 
like what I'm doing here, like expressing what's going. I know it's more of a monologue, right? But 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 you guys are communicating just like you communicate right now with me. It's it's. It, I think it's really cool that you get you get to talk to to someone who's oh okay this person's doing that. I wonder how they're doing it or what what's going what's going on through what's going in them right now. You know their process. I think communication is so important. You know, when, when, when I was a kid, we, 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 I, I wanted to be an artist, but it was so difficult to get in touch with artists. It was so difficult to get in touch. It's still today. I, I still, I still, I still, like, I still don't get it. I contacted this artist the other day a few times. It's not, it's not, it's not even worth it, but, but it's not like he's a famous artist or anything. He was just having an exhibit in a local museum here. And, uh, I really love his work, and I just contacted him just just to tell him that I really love his work, and and I contacted him like two or three times, and I didn't want anything from him. I just wanted to give him praise, you know. I I I, I his work really touched me. I really liked it. He did some sort of a almost photographic work, is this some type of photography work? And do you think he ever answered back? Or and I'm not talking about like I I commented on a, on a YouTube video or, or or an Instagram post. No, I I. I send them a DM. I I I I didn't stalk them, right? But I mean, if you send me a DM and I don't get back to you, call me out on it. You know, I, I'm not a big artist. I I have time. I have time to get back to you. I have time and energy. I think it's so important to 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 to, to communicate. So, this is one of the things that I've been doing, guys. For quite some time, whatever whatever you tell yourself is, regardless of what it looks like, whatever you tell yourself is, because it's your belief, right? Your belief system. I think the Buddha had already said, "You are the you are the the, the, the result of your thoughts." Uh, and, and and other many sages, right? Jesus all, also said that, you know, in, in a different way, but it was the same exact thing. You know, if, if you if you believe, I think it was called the, 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 the Sermon of the Mount. I thought I was going to miss this when I missed the last video. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I think it was a sermon, the Sermon of the Mount, where, where, where Jesus said, you know, if ask and you shall receive. I remember my mother used to read this to me when I was a kid. My, 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 my mother was very, a very devoted Catholic and, and became a very spiritual person. I think she went beyond the religious paradigm uh, when, she got, when she became older. Uh, she started doing meditation, which was something that wasn't even part of prayer. Uh, she started to learn how to, how to quiet her mind and, and do meditation. And, and, and it's, it's a... It's a, it's a, it's a uh, very spiritual, you know, it's, it's a spiritual practice that, that, that certain people go beyond religion and start doing it. Anyways, I saw my mother do that, and I was, I was, man, I was so thrilled to see her do that, uh, to see her really just bloom, you know, into into this spiritual uh, being to start awakening. I don't know if it was because of her illness or she was ready to 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 to, to leave this world, this earth, but. But I remember her reading to me the promises, you know, the promises in the Bible and, and the promises of, of Jesus. And I myself used to read, you know, different books. Uh, I've always liked the esoteric philosophy and, and, and it, I've always felt uh, uh, this, this pull to, towards it. And I remember reading, uh, I remember reading uh, passages of, 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 uh, what the Buddha has spoken about, or or Jiju uh, Krishna Murti, and people like that, right? That 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 just have acquired a a a, a grace, you no, know, a grace, an understanding of the world, a deeper, a deep, a very deep understanding of the world. And I noticed that they all said the same thing: "You are the result of your thoughts." You know, you you are creating your world as you're thinking, and and this has really. This has really impacted my life because I, I can see how if, if you go on a pattern, 
fuck, man. Before you know it, you're going to start seeing it. If you go on a pattern. If you're, if you're like, oh, man, politics, 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 politics. I'm not saying, I'm not saying don't, don't be informed. I'm not saying don't participate. I'm not, I'm not saying don't vote. I'm not saying none of that, of course. You know, uh, but, but, but we can go on patterns. You know, we can go on patterns. And before you know it, you start seeing everything around you in a negative light. In a, in a, in a threat. Everything becomes a threat. And, and I get so, you know, I get so discouraged when, when we do this to ourselves because, or when I do this to myself, because I understand when I get out of it, right? In the moment I don't, but when I get out of it, I understand how I'm creating my own reality just based on my fucking thoughts. I'm not even talking about like, like, you know, doing things just based on my thoughts, because what do thoughts do, guys? What do thoughts do? They produce feelings. Feelings come out of thoughts. It, it, it's, it's, that's the most interesting thing, if you, if you really think about this. Thoughts produce feelings, right? Because, because you're creating a, 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 it, it's, a thought is something formless, right? It's formless. I'm going to go a little philosophical here. It's, a little, it's formless. It's, it's uh, unconditioned, right? A thought. It's formless, and and but it, but but it, it gives it, it, it you're you're almost like it, it's like it's like we take the role of God, right? In in a micro in a microcosm, and we give life to this thought, and this life is a feeling. It's a feeling. So if the thought is happy, you get a happy feeling. If the thought is negative, you get a negative feeling. The funny thing about this, that's not so funny, but the feeling, if a feeling gets strong enough, right, if it doesn't pass like a cloud and it, and it gets strong enough, you start backing it up with action. And then poof, that's how your world is formed. You start backing it up with action because the, the, the feeling, the feeling starts being being backed up with action. Uh, I remember, I remember hearing this guy say, uh, "You, you, you are not tired. You do tire." And I was like, "Man, it's so true." You know, you're you're not sad. You do sad. It's not that you're sad; is that you do sad. You have a thought. You 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 you, you feed it. It becomes a feeling, right? I believe this is where stresses come from and everything. It's it's the thoughts. You, you feed it, it becomes it becomes this emotion, right? The emotion is it's almost like a like a like like it, 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 it's now taking form. It's now take it's now it's now taking life of its own. And then you start backing it up with action. Right? Oh, I'm tired. Oh I feel this way. Your head goes down. You start walking, you start dragging your feet. Uh Oh, the market is so bad. Blah blah blah. People can't buy my paintings. And, and before you know it, then you start doing. Oh, people don't care about me, so I won't care about them. And and you stop. You start dishonoring your artwork. You start dishonoring your your art studio. You start dishonoring yourself. Honor is a hell of a thing, guys. I've talked about this before. Honor is a hell of a thing. You dishonor what you do. You're, you're going to start seeing this happen. You start dishonoring what you do. You cannot dishonor what you do. Honor is giving it attention. It's giving it, giving it your full attention. And I'm not talking about visual attention. I'm not talking about... No, I'm talking about your full presence. Your full presence. Even if, it's, even if it requires of you one minute, give it your full... Don't half-ass it. It won't work, guys. It won't work if you half-ass it. Give it your full. It's like with children, you know. I've noticed that that children don't 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 take that much. You know, a lot of people are like, "Oh my God, they take so much time." Man, I don't know, but my son really just he he just wants like ten quality minutes with me. You know, and and, and sometimes I'll push it and I'll try to like hang out with him more and be like, "No, no, no, I'm done with you." I just, I, I just needed, I needed this, this, this quality. I think, I think what we all, we all long for, is, is, is presence. Is presence is understanding. And your, your artwork, 
also longs for presence. Please give it presence, guys. Give it presence. Give it give it your fullness. Give it your full attention. Rise above the noise. Give it your attention. Give it your give, you give your art your artwork your full attention. This doesn't mean this doesn't mean you paint with the most detail you can. This doesn't mean you 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 uh, paralyze with perfectionism and oh my god I give it so much attention. That's not what it means. What it means is that you you are there fully. You are there fully. You're not half-assing it. You're not there and thinking about how you're running out of time. You're not there and thinking about how the prices are are are, are not going to. I don't know. People are not going to pay you what 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 you want for them. You're not there, and you're you're not. No, you're unconditioned, right? You're giving it your full. You you treat each one as if as if as if it's the last painting you're going to do. It doesn't matter if, if it takes you one day, uh, one hour, or many of my paintings take me 15 minutes to do. It doesn't matter. Give it your full. Give it your full. I'm a very fast painter. The way I, I paint is just the way I like to paint. I, 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 I tend to be very prolific. I love using speed. And I love... But but one thing I've learned when I'm doing this, and I don't, and I don't give it my full attention... I can feel it, and so can my collectors. Everyone feels it. So, here's what I want you to take away from this today, guys. Okay, two things. You have no choice on belief, okay? Please understand this, guys. You have no choice on belief, but you have choice. You have choice on what you're placing the belief on. Okay? There is no choice on belief. Belief is natural, it's mechanical. You will believe in something. You're actually already believing in something. Okay? So, so please make sure that you talk, write about, dream about, daydream, repeat, get tired of talking about what you want. Call yourself a great artist. Call yourself the world's greatest living artist. Don't uh, I use this? Some people get upset. And I tell myself that I'm the, I'm the world's greatest living artist because I say living because I don't want to wait till I die to be to be the greatest, right? So I say I'm the world's greatest living artist. Call yourself the world's greatest living artist. Give yourself that gift. Call yourself something great. Don't wait for some some person to 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 to, to validate you. Validate yourself now. Don't wait for some academy or someone to validate your greatness. You, you, don't, you don't have to. You're already great. You have greatness in you. Everybody does. Everybody does. And it, this doesn't mean that because everybody does and the greatness is not that special. Of course it is. That's like saying that, that's like saying that the ocean is, 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 is special, but a drop of water from the ocean is not. It's, it's stupid. The whole ocean is special. Right, the, the 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 drop of water contains contains the ocean itself in there. Unified is the ocean. Give yourself the gift to validate yourself. Validate yourself. Look at your artwork with love. Look at it with appreciation. Sing to it. Treat it as a plant. My God, man! Like treat your artwork as a plant. You know those people that that that, that, that plant uh, uh, flowers. Treat it as a flower. Talk to it. Sing to it. This doesn't mean that you have to lose your mind, or maybe you do have to lose your mind. If you do, you you probably become a saint. Sing to the flower. You know, sing. Look at your artwork and sing to it. Let let it know I'm here. Look at your canvas. And, and, and pray to it. Sing to it. Let it know I'm here. I'm, 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 I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not in my mind. I'm here. Okay? I'm not here. I'm here. I'm here for you. It doesn't matter whether it's 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 1 hour. Give it your fullness. And it will reciprocate to you. Everything. What, what, what you... What you sow, you reap, guys. 
give it give it your all this this world is so fucking balanced it's just that we we, 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 we tend not to think this way <laughs> thank you so much dark artist says <laughs> Your talks are therapy. <laughs> I, like I like that. But you, you know, you, you whatever you sow, you reap. It, it comes back to you. So, so people are like, "Man, my artwork is not." People don't care about my artwork. That's not true. Care about your artwork. Care about people, and watch the world start loving you and respecting you. The the the, the world is not cruel, guys. That's not true. Is there cruelty? Yes, I'm, of course there is. But the world itself is not cruel. The world is perfect. Just like the ocean is perfect. Just like the sky is perfect. Just like you and I are perfect. It doesn't matter what you've done in life. Who gives a shit? It doesn't matter whether you did something bad, good. You, you carry this burden on your back. Drop it. It's not yours. You are perfect. Just the fucking way you are. There's, there's nothing in you that is not perfect nothing there's 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 no uh, it, it it doesn't matter whether you are, can paint well or you can't paint well those are skills that has nothing to do that's it's 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 it's, it's ridiculous you know it's ridiculous everything is perfect and if you start talking honor to everything everything that you do everything that you see talk honor to it let it know that you're there let it know that you listen. And watch your life start changing. Watch it start changing. It starts shifting. It starts shifting. Oh, oh my, 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 my artwork. People don't buy my artwork. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't, don't. That, that is an old program. That's an old program. The new program is people love my artwork. I love my artwork. Every time people see my artwork, oh my God, they just, they fall in love with it. They, I get so many people wanting to buy the same art piece. It's ridiculous how many people want to buy my artwork. And people say, you, you want me to lie to myself? Fuck yeah, I do. I want you to lie to yourself. Because, because the truth that you're telling yourself, the truth, it's not working. Because remember, you will believe whatever is there. Make sure that you put something there worth worth believing in. Worth believing in because regardless of, you will believe in something. So the, the question is not whether you're going to believe in something or not. You're already believing in it. You already believe that, 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 that the market is horrible. Or you already believe that you can't paint for shit. Or you already believe that no one cares about your artwork. Just change it. I'm going to... I'm gonna get a coffee while I'm doing this. Yeah, can I please have a venti, a venti iced coffee? Anything in it or just black? Uh, no, uh, cream and and classic, half and half and classic. Okay, anything else? Uh, let me have two two uh, warmed up butter croissants, please. All right, anything else? That would be all. Yeah, that would do. Thank you. I had to take my wife a coffee. So that's the number one, guys. Okay, make sure that you speak right, get tired, get tired, toot your own horn, tell yourself, tell others, especially others that, that love and support you, don't tell people that don't because they're just going to step on you. And this is not because they're bad or blah, 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 I've talked about this before, this is because they themselves don't have the belief system, okay? You need the belief system, you need, the, you need something worthwhile to believe in. So... Remove the gunk by putting something worthwhile to believe in. That's number one. Number two, because you're doing that, you're going to create emotion. Okay? Oh my God! You start you start seeing the possibilities, right? Because because you've now you've you've now honored you've honored your space, so you're going to start seeing the possibilities. Step number two: back it up with action. It will be inevitable to back it up with action. But push it a little bit, because in the beginning it feels like 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 it's it's difficult. Like you won't be able to do it, because there's so much gunk. But I promise you that you will. 
you will be able to do it because just the emotion itself is going to start prompting you. For example, if you have a hard time showing up to paint to the studio, don't tell yourself, man, I never show up to paint, man, I'm a slacker. No, that's your belief system talking. That's not the real you, the perfect you is not talking. That's your belief system. That's a, that's a recorded uh it's like a virus in your software, but unlike other viruses, this is very simple to get rid of. This is very simple. You don't have to override everything. All you have to do is just is just change what the focus is. They ask. Uh, I think it was uh, it wasn't Steve Jobs. What was the other guy's name? The the the, 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 the computer guy. What, what's his name? My God, I forgot his name. His mother. Uh, oh, Bill Gates, Bill Gates, Bill Gates, um, Bill Gates' mother invited. I think they invited Warren Buffett for for dinner because Bill Gates, Bill Gates was being a, a mentor by Warren Buffett or something like that. And his mother asked, "What is the secret to your success?" She asked Bill. She she asked uh, Mr. Geek. Yeah. She asked Warren Buffett, and they both answered, Bill Gates and Warren Buffett answered at the same time, at, uh, focus, focus, right? Why focus, guys? You see, when we talk, when we talk about focus, we, we, say, we say, oh, yeah, it's the discipline, and we, just, we start adding all this shit. Hello, How's it going? Hello, I'm going to Thank you, this is Thank you so much. So when we talk about focus, we start adding all of this, all of these hoops to jump through. We start adding all of these hoops. We're like, oh yeah, oh, well, if you have focus, then you're going to need discipline, and then you're going to need self assurance, and then you're going to need this, and then you're going to need that. No, you're not going to need shit. No, you're not. You're not going to need all of that. You just need focus. And what is focus? It sounds abstract. It's simple. Look at what you want. That's all. Just look at what you want. It, it is so simple. And, and I'm, I'm not saying that, that I am this, this super successful or anything like that. No. Uh, the, the, reason, the reason I've been lacking in certain areas of my life, it's because of that. It's because of the lack of focus. It's because I'm not looking at what I want. I'm looking at what I don't want. Well, if I'm looking at what I don't want, of course I'm going to get what I don't want. Because what you sow, you reap. What you sow, you reap. My heart is, is looking at what, the, what it doesn't want, so I keep getting what I don't want. As a as an artist, when I started making when I started making a living as an artist, when I started selling my artwork, I started paying attention to what I wanted. Consistently and persistently pay attention to what I want. I started getting it. It didn't take years, guys. It was like boom, it was overnight. It was literally overnight. It was like, okay, what, what is it that I want? I want this. Okay, just start looking at it and start looking at it and start looking at it. It, 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 was, it was one thing led to another very quick. Very quick. One thing led to, led to another. That is the power of focus. Because, because what happens is you focus on something, right? Again... I, I, I know I've, I've stressed this, but I'm going to say it again. What, you have no choice in belief, okay? There is no choice in belief. You, be, you will believe in something. You already do. Be careful what you're believing in. There is no choice in that. The only choice is, what are you believing in? So, so this, is, this is the process. You focus onto something. You look at it, okay, 
you're an artist that has a hard time showing up to the studio. Let's take that for an example. You start telling yourself, you write down every single fucking day. I show up to the studio. I love showing up to the studio. I love creating artwork. Oh my God, I get thrilled every time I'm in the studio. I spent lots of quality time in the studio. You start writing this. You start writing this. In the morning, you read it at noon. I love showing up to the studio. This doesn't take more than two minutes, guys. So people that are like, I don't have time for that, you're lying to yourself. It, it, it won't, it, throughout the whole day, you're probably going to spend about three, four minutes on this exercise. And it will change your life. It will literally change your life. This, I promise you, it will change your life because it will start changing right away your focus. Where is your focus? People are like, oh my God, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't, I, I, I can't seem to, to, to sell my artwork or whatever. Hey, I sell my artwork so much. I sell, I sell so much artwork at so many different prices. People love buying my, my expensive artwork. People love my, my high price points. And people love buying all my prints and my artwork all the time. My paintings sell like hotcakes at great prices. Guess what that's going to do? It's going to put the feeling in there. In the beginning, you're going to feel like you're lying to yourself. Don't worry about it. Keep writing it. Keep talking about it. Keep looking at it. Keep reciting it. Keep reciting it. Because, because you already have a belief system. So the new one is trying to override the old belief system. So in the beginning, it's going to feel like, oh, man, I'm just lying to myself. That's not even true. That's not, that's not even right. It's not, it, that's, not, that's not happening. Don't worry about it. Who gives, who gives a crap? That's not the exercise is that you tell yourself what you want. Because one thing is true in this world, whatever you focus on, you will start getting it. And I'm not talking about law of attraction or this or that. I, I don't know. That may be true. Who knows? Whether it comes to you or you go to it, you will get it. If the focus, if the focus is true. And the only way the focus is true is that you are obsessed with it. You keep looking at it. Think about any time that you wanted something. That you truly wanted something. That you obsessed about it. Or that you feared something. That you feared something. And I'm not talking about those ridiculous fears like, oh my God, you know, some really, no, that you're like, I have a mentor who told me, dude, start thinking about an accident in your car and watch. He's like, before you know it. Start, start, start thinking about your car needing, needing uh, service and watch. Watch it happen. He said, just, just start thinking about something. Start thinking about something for a long period of time. You know, like, like consistently. I'm not talking about years. I'm just talking about consistently. You start, you start thinking about something before you know it, you're going to start looking at it. It's going to start coming out in, in different ways. I remember reading about a surfing, a surfing coach, a surfing inst instructor who, who said, who said that when he was teaching people how to surf, right? When he taught people how to surf, this was a very, uh, uh, expensive, uh, classes that he used to give that he used to tell people, whatever you do, Because he would, he, would, he would show them how to surf close to some rocks or something. I don't know. I think it was in San Diego. Whatever you do, don't look at the rocks. I, I, I thought it was crazy. Like, don't look at the rocks. What, is, what does this guy mean? And he followed up by saying, because when you look at the rocks, you will inevitably, inevitably go towards them. And I was like, fuck, man, this is life. You will go to whatever you're focusing on. He said, whatever you do, do not look at the rocks. Look at the water. Like, don't, don't focus on the rocks. Focus on the water. Because you, there's something in us. I don't know what it is. That whatever we look at, whatever we think about, whatever we, 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 we're, we have our attention on, our focus, as Bill Gates and, and Warren Buffett said, whatever we have our focus on, we will get. Because... Because you will reap what you sow. You will reap what you sow. You don't think you're sowing something by looking and focusing on something? Thinking about it? Having feelings about it? 
talking about it, you don't think that you will reap that. We're crazy if we don't think that we're going to reap all the things that we talk about. You know, I don't show up to my studio. I'm stupid. I'm lazy. Oh, the, what is your, what does your, 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 your body, your spirit say? Your, 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 your life, right? Your personal life. What does that say? Oh, I'm stupid and I'm lazy. Okay, coming right up. I, I am stupid and lazy. I, I never keep my promises. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's 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 reap that because that's what's being sowed. Let's reap it. This is why it's so important to speak honor. Speak honor to yourself. Tell yours, regardless of how you feel. I don't care if you're, I don't know, you're drinking every day and you're doing drugs or whatever the fuck you're doing. It doesn't matter. Speak honor to yourself and watch. Start watching your life change. It doesn't matter if you, if you, whatever you do, just start speaking honor to yourself. Start telling yourself, I am the greatest. I am the greatest. I am great. I'm amazing. I'm an amazing artist. People love my art. Everybody wants my art. When you're creating artwork, tell yourself, man, this is amazing. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Start telling yourself that. Override the gunk. Get it out. Get it out. You have no choice in belief, guys. You have no choice in belief, but you have a choice in what you believe on. What you believe in. Put your trust. You're already trusting on something. Put your trust on something worthwhile. You're, many of you are already trusting that you're not going to sell work. That you're not even going to show up to the studio. That you don't even have enough time. Many of you are already trusting, I don't have enough time. I don't, there's not enough time in the day. You already put your trust on that. Change your trust now. Now start saying, I always have more than enough time. I always get things done. I'm always, I'm so prolific. I'm so productive. I am the most productive artist in the world. I am the most prolific artist. I'm a highly disciplined and highly productive person. Everywhere I go, opportunities are given to me. I get showered with opportunities every day. Man, you, 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 start, you start saying some of those things to yourself every day. This is where people don't get it. This is where people are like, well, how is my life going to change if I do that? Thank you, Angie. How's my life going to change if I do that? People, people, people don't get this. Look, it's going to change. I already told you the process is going to change because you're, you're. I, first of all, I had no idea really how it does, but based on my observation, you start, you start thinking about it. You start having feelings about it. You start having feelings, and these feelings, these feelings that you have, these emotions. Start manifesting into actions. If you treat yourself with quality and respect, others will will attract to you, and they're gonna be like, "Oh my God, I I I resonate with that." If you treat your artwork with respect and quality, others will come to you and be and be like, "I I, I resonate with that." You yourself are going to start doing things with quality, with love, with respect. And, and, and when the time is right, you're going to do it with, with fast, uh, strong action. It's going to prompt you. It's going to tell you. This is a funny thing that, that once you start honoring, once you start talking honor, right? Writing honor, talking honor, thinking on her once you start doing that the, the 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 way starts paving it's like a it's like a magical thing it starts paving and all the signs start popping up and they start telling you this way this way it's like the fucking universe wants you to win and we don't get it, it, it it's like it wants you to win i'm not saying these are not empty words Rumi had said this already act as if the world is rigged in your favor because it is. 
because it is. It's, it's rigged in your favor, but we don't listen to it. We, we, we don't speak honor to it. You know, we, we, we go, we fall in love with someone, and then we stop speaking honor to them. We start, we start giving honor to the person, and then we go, oh, she, she's, she doesn't even do her hair anymore. She doesn't care about herself. Of, of, of course not. Fuck, man. The world is like a plant. Water it. Water it. Give, give, it, give it soil. Sing to it. And it'll give you fruit. The world is like a plant. It's like a flower. It's just that we don't do it. You know, we don't, we don't, we don't do it because, we, again, because we, we have no choice in belief. But we have choice in what we believe in. We have no choice in belief. We're like, oh, the, the economy is, 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 is down the drain. The, the, my artwork is just no good, no matter what I do. Oh, oh, okay, okay. The, the 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 genie, right? The universe, God, whatever you want to call it, is saying, is a mirror. Uh, that's all it is. It, it's 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 a fucking mirror. It's like, I don't like this. Oh, okay. Here you go. What else? What else do you want? I hate this. Oh, okay. There you go. What what else? This traffic sucks. Oh, ho, ho, your wish is my command. Here, take. Take this sucking traffic. I, I'm tired. Oh my God. I'll give you more reasons to be tired. Is that what you want? Because because I don't understand. I, I, I am so faithful. And I love you so much. That I will give you whatever you want me to give you. I won't even judge you. This is the universe. I won't even judge you. I will give you whatever you want me to give you. I won't give you what I think is good for you. I will give you what you ask. Talk about a loyal servant. Talk about a loyal servant. I won't even give you what's good for you. I will give you what you ask. Ask and you shall receive. Many people have said this in different ways. Ask and you shall receive. It's like they're trying to get the stupid out of us. Like, like don't like understand this. You know, whatever you're asking, whatever you're saying, whatever you're telling yourself, whatever you're, you're, whatever you're reciting, you are creating. In all traditions, people used to believe that that words were enchantments. That when you when you said something, you actually were casting a spell. It cannot be more true than that, guys. Whatever you're saying, you're casting a spell. Every time we say something, you know, some people some people get 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 all about. They get all about prayer, and then some people get all about I don't know, like black magic and shit like that. <laughs> some people get get weird on me like that. Uh, look, I'll say to you, neither one. They're all spells. They're all spells. You tell yourself, "I'm, I'm, I'm, I'm not good enough." You know, your your wish is my command. It's a spell. I can't sell artwork. Of course you can't. What else? What else do you want? It's like a genie. It's like the the, the genie from Aladdin sitting there looking at you like this. What else do you want? I, I can't sell artwork. Oh, okay. I'll make sure that you never sell artwork. Hey, honey, got your coffee. My wife is. It, it's whatever you want, you know. I can't. I can't. I can't exhibit God, the genie, whatever you want to call it. Says to you, you can't exhibit. Of course you can't. You know why? Because all my mighty power is behind you. If you can't. Then let's make sure that you can't. 
I can't make a living as an artist. Of course you can't. How could you? Your wish is, your wish is my command. There's no way. I gotta let my my honey know that I I brought you coffee, okay, Mija? Thank you, honey. I gotta go, okay? okay love you. All right, love you too. I gotta go to the studio. <laughs> I'm laughing so much, and she says. What's up, Poopy? It's it, it. It will always come down to that. We just don't want to. We don't want to believe it because you know why? We're afraid of our power. We all are. We we don't want to believe it. Like, you mean that it's my fault that shit is going wrong? You mean that that it's not something else? It actually is me. Yes. Yeah. It. it I know some people don't want to hear this, but yeah, it is you. You mean it's not my circumstance? It's not my shitty husband or my shitty wife or or my shitty job? No. No, it's not. No. You have the you have the power of the universe backing you up. You have the power of the universe backing you up. Whose fault do you think it is? Now this is not something to be ashamed or upset about. It is to take ownership. It's your ship, baby. You are captain of your ship. Hop on it. Grab the wheel. No, it's not me. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> None of us do, right? When things go right, we go, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, God. When things go wrong, <laughs> when things go wrong, we say, we say, Oh, the the, the 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 devil is trying to is trying to tempt me, or 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 we say something something outside of me, right? Something else. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. You have such a power. I'm barely discovering that about myself. You have such a power that an attempt to try to understand it would be arrogant. Even an attempt to try to understand this power would be arrogant. This is why Jesus said so much richness. When, when, when he spoke about the human, so much richness is in us. I think I think he said something about so much richness in such poverty, in in, in 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 the mind, right? In the in in the little, so much richness. An attempt to try to understand that you, that you, me, everybody has a genie that grants your wishes. Not in a metaphysical, not in a, not in a, not in a, I want to be 10 feet, you know, tall <laughs> type of way. <laughs> no. Or maybe, I don't know. Why not? I have no idea. Who am I to put any limits on that? But what I, what, what I do know is, is my observation, guys. I, 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 I do see this. Is that whatever you want 
it, it, it seems like it comes to you or you or you go to it, but you come to a crossroads with it. You meet it. Whatever you focus on. And, and we and we go through life thinking that it's something else, that it's someone else, that it's that it's the economy, that it's that I don't come from the good from a good family. I'm not as disciplined. Of course you're not. How could you be disciplined? Of course you're not. You know why you're not disciplined? Because you're not disciplined. Your wish is my command. Start telling yourself that you're disciplined. Start telling yourself that you can. Start telling yourself that you're you're a fantastic artist. That Jeff Koons would be honored to work with you. Start telling yourself that your work will, will hang next to Monet's at the Met or the Orsay or whatever. Start telling yourself that. Well, people are like, oh my God, you're lying to yourself. Why would you be lying to yourself? No, you're not. You're, you're not. It... You're going to believe in something. You're going to believe in something already. You already believe in something. If I was an oil painter. If I painted landscapes. If I did this. Oh, if I did more abstracts. If I... Bullshit. No. Start speaking honor on whatever you do. My life didn't start changing until I started speaking honor. And and by the way, my life changes to 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 a negative place when I stop speaking honor. All of a sudden, I had the worst months ever. What happened? My God, I was rolling. Making 20, 30, 40 thousand bucks a, a month. And all of a sudden, I'm like, oh my God, what, 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 what happened? What happened? Nothing happened. Your wish is my command, my man. You don't, you don't like your artwork? Okay. I'll make sure that you continue not liking your artwork because your wish is my command. You know, you, 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 it's, it's so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous that the power of the universe is right here. And, and, we, and we do nothing about it. The, the things that serve us in life were given to us. The things that are most important in life were a gift from God. Your ability to dream, you know, oxygen, life, your imagination, like the shit that actually, that that is, that is actually important. Your body. You don't have to pay for your body. You're just born with it. I mean, you do have to kind of drag it around, you know. But it's yours. Everything else is meaningless. Everything else. Cars, houses. Everything else is meaningless. It comes, it goes. It's, it's something that you have to acquire. But the true fullness, the true richness in your life, you, you didn't have to acquire it. It was given to you by grace. You were born with it. It was... It was... It's your right... It's like being wealthy, being the wealthiest person in the world and not knowing it. Don't let this be a sad story. Turn it around. Start speaking honor to yourself and to what you do. To every step you take, speak honor to it. Say, I'm here. 
and tell the genie what you want. Peace, guys. Take care.